Hey, what's up people? Welcome back. Today, we're on Winston, the old shop truck, and we're gonna swap out that junkyard ECU, ECM, PC, whatever, for Holly's Terminator X. I would have done this a lot sooner, but I had to, you know, sell a bunch of real estate to be able to afford the Terminator thing. <laughs> Of course, I'm joking about the selling the real estate thing because I don't have real estate to sell, obviously. Point being, this stuff's expensive. And it took me quite a bit uh, to save up to get this done. But what this is going to do is replace the stock, the you know PCM, ECU, whatever, and the harness and all that. Um, that came with our motor out of the junkyard. So if you've been following along with Winston here, you know that we put this jo uh, junkyard 5.3 LS truck motor in here and it came with the stock uh, computer and wiring and all that. And we just had that programmed and kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, put it in to get it going. But the truck has had a miss ever since we put it in there. And we've done everything to try to address that. I've checked all the wiring. We've done, uh, coil packs. We did injectors. We had the programs looked at in detail. Um, heck, what what haven't we done with this? Checked all the sensors. We, we've been through everything. I even recently had James help me, um, you know, check to see if we had a collapsed lifter with that whole valve cover uh, off while the engine's running thing. And I'm going to get James to fire this up, and we're only going to run it a few seconds. I just want to watch these rockers. All right, James, go ahead. All right, cut it off. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. And obviously from that test, uh, we cannot, I, I don't see where we have a collapse lifter. Uh, and I'm not saying that this is going to solve the problem or that I bought this to solve the problem. I was going to do this anyway. I wanted to do it from the beginning. But this kit right here is $1,900. $1,900. And then after I got it, I found out, okay, this is Holly's Terminator X for early um, truck and uh, LS engines. And then it came with this injector harness. Well, it turns out, I guess, there's two different styles of injectors for this uh, engine. And these don't work with what I have. So Holly told me I had to get this injector harness, which was another 150 bucks. Uh, and I... I think it's, this is the injector harness, uh, which was another 150 bucks. I checked, and these are the correct uh, injector plugs. So we needed that, and um, it came. With, you know, this kit is the one with the transmission control, so that's good because we have the 4L60E. But then, also because my truck is drive by wire, that's not included. So Holly told me I had to get this additional harness also for the drive-by wire and this was 250 bucks so if you're doing the math here basically we're up to like twenty five hundred dollars now if this solves our problem with the miss fantastic uh, great uh, but if it doesn't then we can dig into something else but like I said uh, I wanted to do this from the beginning anyway there's a whole thing with whether or not the vintage uh, air unit will work with the stock PCM or whatever it, it should definitely work with this this is going to give me more uh, tuning capability, a little bit more visibility to what's going on and all that stuff. I'm not a tuner, so I don't have like the whole thing to, you know, for that. I can look up codes, but the engine has never thrown a code. Well, it did throw a uh, throttle body or uh, throttle position sensor codes when I swapped the uh, throttle body, but we got that fixed up. But those are the only code. It's never thrown a code on a misfire. So this whole misfire thing, uh, which is only under load, because while it sits there idling, it's fantastic. But the whole misfire thing has just been, been a mystery. So uh, I don't know if this will fix it up anyway, but like I said, I wanted to, uh, to do this either way. So we've got, uh, let's see which one is this. I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess we'll figure it out as we go. That's something. 
And then this is the main harness here. It looks like it goes to all the stuff. Transmission control um, harness here. The Junkyard LS uh, comes with, you know, you need uh, two O2 sensors. And they're on there, but apparently I need to swap one of them out for this O2 sensor uh, for the Holly unit. And then this is the um, little dash screen thingy or whatever that you use for uh, tuning it and setting it up and all that stuff. There's some other kind of little connector harnesses in here. And then this is the box itself, the brains of the operation, if it were. And we're going to try to get this uh, mounted up under the dash somehow. It's got a bunch of lights on. I guess we'll figure all this out as we go. We'll see how all this goes. But I guess the first thing we got to do is get the old harness and wiring out. So we'll start there. Uh, Captain America here is using my wheel chocks, which I need. So we're going to have to figure something out. But I'm going to let this thing breathe. For, it's been under this cover for months. And it's a nice day. Needs to breathe a little, man. Breathe. Some sunlight. All right. I've got to... Uh, first thing i got to do is disconnect the battery. And some genius put it on the frame rail under the cab. I don't know who that was. It's done nothing but rain here forever. The ground is soaking wet. It's just a soggy mess. And I'm... Uh, I'm not interested in getting mudded out. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, good. I didn't need the pliers today. I'm just going to disconnect the ground off of this thing. Where, where, what are you doing? Tuck over there. You're not, you're not giving me a warm and fuzzy that you're not going to use your muscle memory to go back home while I'm in the middle of working on this thing. Okay. That should get it. All right. We're all disconnected. Yay. And somehow I stayed dry. Not clean, but dry. Oh, where do we start here? I guess... Oh, I better get some cutters. Snip, snip. I guess we'll start here with this temp sensor here and work our way around, eh? Boy, somebody did a really nice job of securing all this with tape and zip ties and bubble gum and rubber bands and all kinds of fun stuff. I think I'm just going to cut that alternator wire. Because somehow or another, I've got 17 buck connectors in it anyway. And we'll just keep plugging along here. Okay. Uh, let's see. we got to get this one. I'm thinking I didn't put near enough zip ties and stuff on here. All right. Let's see. Oh, I got to go under there and get that O2 sensor. I got to jack the truck up to get underneath of it. And my wheel chocks are under Captain America here. So I'll just throw these ramps back here. Get off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll definitely keep it from rolling over me. Oh, crap. Dare I say I'm getting too old for this. Try to keep my trips to a minimum because I'm lazy. I'll just take the new stuff and I'll get under here and undo the transmission and the O2 sensor on this side. And then hook the new stuff up. Uh, hopefully it goes like that, right? Boy, I cannot reach up in here. This joker is tight. I was going to try to install this harness while I was under here, but I got to figure out the whole neutral safety switch part of it. Boy, I can't get that off. I'm trying to get this transmission controller off of here. <sighs> Or this plug or whatever the heck. I'm trying to get that plug right there. 
and it's proven to be a pain in the butt. Okay, got that one. Now I gotta get this one. Oh, I need my cutters. Because I just, you know, zip tied everything. Yeah. That goes to that. That goes, so we gotta get this. That's the plug I was after. And we'll throw that over there. And this is the neutral safety switch, apparently, and I didn't see anything in the kit for that. So what we're gonna do is just pull this harness out and lay it out and see if it all connects somehow. That might be a separate harness or something. I don't know. Okay, back to the other side. And of course, you know, I zip tied this here too. So we can get this pulled up. And I need to get the uh, O2 sensor unplugged. I don't even, where, did, where was that at? Oh, here it is right here. Okay. So. We'll pop that off. There we go. Now I should be able to get all that stuff shoved up there and pulled out. Yeah, just get up there somehow or another. I think what I will do while I'm right here is go ahead and swap out the O2 sensor. Yes, I just brought a crescent wrench. Don't, oh, don't judge me. Oh crap, I zip tied that too. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, I'll slap this new one in. Hold on, I mean, I need both hands. This O2 sensor here, we can just unplug and leave be. Yeah, there we go. Of course, I, you know, have it zip tied to stuff. I don't know. Need two hands for that too. Now in order to get this, oh crap, it's not a 10. It's a 13, James. Or this crank sensor. I can't get to it. I have to get the starter off here. Let me get this. I'll come back to you. Yeah, see, I gotta get that sensor right there and then of course I've got it you know zip tied to everything I had to take the starter completely out that's you know story of the deal but I had to wrap all this up in heat shield stuff so that the uh you know headers wouldn't melt my wires in. anyway uh, I think we can go up top now and I think that's everything under here okay ow oh medic Medic, I got a shin down. I got a shin down. The stool caved in the mud on me. Oh, that's. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got to get in here and uh, I got to. Uh. 
Oh crap. James, have my clippers, please. I got in the truck without them. Ow. Ow. The other the other shin. The other shin's down. I got two shins down. I'm way too big. Way too big for this nonsense. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put that up there for now. Oh, look. Zip ties under the zip ties. Now, can I get all of that over there? I guess you gotta undo the coils too, huh? Oh, no, you don't. I just did all that for nothing, dummy. I got a sensor back here. I got to unplug. There, I got that sensor. That's water temp or something. That's all got to go behind there. I got to get them ground wires. James, I need a 13 millimeter wrench, I guess. Thank you. I can't get it with this. And it's not a 13. It's a 15. I need a 15. I'm sure it wasn't on there very tight. Small block Chevy runs on three wires. Just pointing that out. Shoo wee. LS swap it, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I think that's everything I got to get out and go over there now. This is where it gets to be a whole lot of fun because I got a bunch of other stuff wired in here with this um, stuff, you know. And because I also have ground wires going in here, uh, and because I'm a genius, I decided to use a uh, nylon lock nut. And now I am paying for my transgression. Because they fight you to the very last thread. Just another zip tie. No worries. I have no idea what that was. Probably something important. Something's jamming me up. And I can't see what it is. Oh, another zip tie. I'm going to end up cutting some crap I shouldn't be. Crap. I have never dealt in my life with anything that is more of a complete pain in the ass. Well, I hope this Terminator thing works because I'll never get this back on. I don't know how in the hell I did it to begin with. Must have been having a good day that day. Now what? What are you stuck on? Get over here. Well, I'll tell you what, if this don't work, I'm going to pull this out of here and put a dang big block in it with a HEI distributor and we'll be done. I think I have to go under there and push the drive-by wire wires through. Yeah, my uh, drive-by wire, all this wiring I did, you know, for this, looks like I got to undo it and send these wires back to the firewall. We gotta cut uh, this one and these. And this one. And of course, you know, I zip tied it. There we go. Now I got these wires that come up for the fuel, you know, the sender and the pump wire. I got to reroute the 
whole thing. <clears throat> under the battery cable. <sighs> All right, one at a time, we're going to pull these out here, I guess, because some of these are not associated with the computer. Like I got oil tump and water pressure that goes to my Dakota digital stuff. Hindsight being what it is, I would have run these separate knowing that I was gonna replace this harness, this computer one day. Anyway, this is my start wire and my oil pressure and my water temp, I believe. So we got we got to hang on to them. I got, I got whoops, there goes my screwdriver. All right, I got this. I went ahead and disconnected that. One. Set that over here. I think I've got everything except. Uh, I don't know if I put the computer on a, a relay or not. I don't know why I would have. But anyway, I've got these wires, which I know what some of these are. I know. Well, this, this wire don't go in there. Get out of the way. So these wires right here. This is Dakota Digital. This other black one is Dakota Digital. This blue one is my fuel sender. One of these is gonna be your speed sensor wire. So I gotta figure out these five on the inside because you know, my uh, memory's not that great. And so I don't remember what they're for. Should be easy enough to figure out, I guess. I just gotta get this gauge cluster out and then I should be able to sort it out here. I cut a lot of this out for y'all, but I've been, I want to say three hours or so now, just trying to get the old wiring out. Completely forgot that I actually mounted the box under here. And so, in order for me to figure this out, I'm going to have to take the box back out. Good times in the neighborhood, undoing everything you did before it's all you know zip tied in not as tight as the other stuff because i never did get to finish this but zip tied in there nevertheless i just need to unplug this ethernet thing on this dakota digital so i can get the box out and the and it won't unplug the green wire oh let's see Oh, that's right. We had to feed it some kind of switch to let it know when we hit the brakes. So where in the hell is this one going? Okay, that's this. Oh, no, we can't cut that. Oh, yeah, we can. That's our speed sensor. Let me go around and check, see what's left here. I think I got it. I think I got it. Holy smokes. I think, I, do I have it? Oops. Holy cow. Ugh. Okay, I guess now we wire in the new stuff. That is for battery power over here. These are my, my start wire and my sensors. So we're going to lay this out here. Now we'll just check the bossy around booklet. See what we got here. A main battery power connection. I guess that's what we need first. So we'll go find that joker. Found it. I guess we better figure out where we're going to mount this thing. So I've got this hole in the firewall. Uh, oh, somewhere up here. I'll have to find it. But it should be uh, big enough. I think for, uh, 
all the stuff to come through I'll have to see where it comes through at let's see where can we put it what if we mounted it right here will that not work no that wouldn't work all right I have decided that this box is gonna be mounted right here instead of going inside going inside would be a huge pain in the took us and the factory ECU is under the hood and Holly did say I could put it out here just you know point the lights up and the connectors down all I did was put that up there and drill the four holes and then James put some double-sided tape on here for me just to give us a little extra insurance mm -hmm. so we should not have an issue here I wouldn't think and I probably just cursed myself but this is where I have declared that it will be mounted thou shalt reside here oh yeah that's good okay now the main power harness and they want this going straight to the battery Whoop. so I guess we'll drop this down there let's see which one is the main battery is it this one yeah that's the main power okay there there we go run that to the battery and uh, make the connections i'll just you know drop that down and uh ran it with my battery cables or whatever and you know got the ends on it all shrunk up and everything so that'll be ready we'll go ahead and hook the positive up but we're not going to hook both of them up till we're all straight here well it says primary harness installation and sensor connections anyway that's this monstrosity here <clears throat> What does this go here? And the secondary one here. Okay. Now we just got to run this around and hook everything up, I guess. Let's see where all this stuff goes. Rods are done. This one is uh, injectors, oil pressure sensor, knock sensor, cam sensor, crank sensor, map sensor. What's this one? Ignition odd. Is there an ignition even? That's the CO2. I mean the, uh, <laughs> the CO2. Oh Lord, it's getting late in the day. Ignition even. Well, I guess we'll start with that. Holy crap, we got something plugged in. What's this one? Oh, yeah, the, o, the, C, the O2. Okay, so this is our ignition odd. This is our throttle position. This is for our um, drive-by wire. Okay, let's see. Of these jokers, uh, let's see, which one is this? Knock sensor. This crank sensor, that has to go way down there. So I don't know how in the hell that's supposed to work. I'm just trying to get all this sorted here. The cam sensor is down. Whoops. Never, never, ever will we find it again. That's fine. I need to get this part of the harness. 
underneath of here. Ow. Just trying to get everything situated here. Holy smokes. <sighs> what the hell is that? Oh, that's the O2. Well, I seem to be... I'm sure I'm not missing it, but there's a sensor I cannot find, which is our map sensor. So where's the map sensor plug? It's gotta be hanging off over there somewhere and I just, I'm missing it. Oh, there's our map sensor. I knew it was in here. You were hiding from me, you devil. You little stinking thing so i got to get the cam oil and crank and then the two ground there's one ground for each cylinder head and then i don't know what this is yet i guess we'll figure that out and then there's some other stuff down here too but uh we'll get to all that after we get you know do this other stuff here that would be the main harness so let me just button this up and then i'll come back to you with the next thing i got the main harness hooked up but these so this fuel one holly says that's optional anyway idle air control and tps sensors this is drive-by wire so i don't have those even though it says it's required <clears throat> but i'm not i'm not too worried about that because of the drive-by wire thing but this here mat sensor so i have a this is supposed to be a manifold air temperature well i don't have a air temperature sensor it says this is required and then there's no provision at all for the the holly book doesn't even mention a mass airflow sensor and of course you know there are two different things and they don't fit together so i'm not real sure on that part well i wish i was an ls engine expert guess i'm gonna to have to do some learning well now i'm just cooking up my injectors they just plug the harness into the main harness and then the injectors are uh, numbered here so this is uh let's see number two it don't seem to want to connect no, there it goes. Guess you just gotta pop them on there a little. All right, number four. Let's see, is this six or eight? Well, this says nine. Where do I put number nine? Numero ocho. One. Hopefully, this is three, right? Yeah, three. Well, some of them just go right on, and others, not so much. Looks like my daughter's home from her job at the shoe store. You're back. Did you pimp them sneakers? I pimped them all. We're sold out. Oh, you, oh yeah? You <laughs> pimped out all the sneakers, huh? All right, I got the drive-by wire almost done. This part goes to the box. And then there's a wire here that I got to hook up. So we'll get that in a minute. Yeah, I think the only major thing left is this trans controller here and then this so this is for the vss the main controller this is for turbine speed which uh, the book says only a 4l80 has so we don't need that so i'll just zip this up here and we'll tape it up later so we'll drop this down there with that, I guess. I'll have to go down there and fish it. This goes here. And then there's more stuff to mount here, I guess. Okay, just pulling this through here. And there's way more cable. Uh, then we need, which I guess, you know, is better than not having enough. I know y'all can't hardly see what's going on here, but I can't help that. 
I'll just put you down there for a minute. All right, we got to run. Got to run the extra. This away, I suppose. You. Now I got to figure out how to get my big meat hooks in there. to hook the stinking thing up. It's so tight, I can't even turn my wrist. There we go. All right. And now I just need to get it on here where it clicks. Oh, I'll be darned. I got that the first try. Can you believe that? That is unbelievable. And then this other connector goes to the back. It goes right there. So we just gotta pull that around. There we go. And hook that up. Okay. Okay. Back up top. Alright, so we got the main harness ran, and the main harness is basically cool packs, injectors, and all your sensors and stuff. I got all that taken care of. Um the air temp sensor let me show you what we did there so this terminator x needs an air temp sensor there's a plug for it here and this engine didn't have an air temp sensor so what i've seen guys do is take this purge solenoid out because you don't need that that's like a evap thing or something and then you buy the air temp sensor and it's got little ribs on it, so you grind those down kind of smooth or whatever. And then all we have to do is bore this hole out a little bit for this to sit down in there. And then we've got us an air temp sensor. Uh, I, I took the throttle body off so I could catch the shavings or whatever, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make this hole a little bit bigger. bits out of there now this thing should sit down in there pretty tight pretty snug got that in there that is nice and snug and if you're curious that was a 31 64th bit and I uh, you know I did have to tap it just lightly just lightly uh, but it's a good you know snug fit and I had the uh, drive-by wire harness ran and the trans controller harness ran um, but there's, there's some things about this, um, uh, that I want to point out to you. So this is the pedal that came with my, you know, with my engine and everything when I bought it because the pedal assembly, ECU, everything came with it. But the Holly system doesn't work with that pedal. So I had to get this pedal and I just swapped it out right quick. There's only one bolt in it. It's kind of loose. Um, but I got this from Amazonia. Now I think you can change the pinouts and all that on the connectors um but i just been wanting to get this thing going so i didn't fool with any of that but i may i may read up on that and see if i can get the first pedal um in here instead all right so on this if you have like the engine i have i told you about the mass air temp sensor and the fact that it doesn't have a mass air flow sensor so there's that the transmission i there's nothing on here for either a neutral safety switch, which I have, mine's built into the truck, I checked, so I'm fine there. Um, or a speed sensor output for your, well, I got the Dakota Digital, so I don't have an output for it there. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. If you know how I can do that, you know, put that in the comments or shoot me an email, that would be really helpful. And then the drive-by wire, you know, of course I told you I had to change the pedal, so you have to have, it only works with a certain pedal and a certain throttle body, but I have seen guys like repin them and it work. I'm just not 100% sure if that works across the board. Can't tell you with that, but just know that that's, you know, something to pay attention to. Other than that, uh, using the wizard and doing the setups is super easy. You will need to know stuff like your second gear ratio and your transmission, 
uh, your rear differential gear ratio, your uh, wheel and tire diameter, stuff like that. Um, so just know that you're going to need that information to walk through the setups. And you may already know this stuff. I don't know. I'm just sharing with you what I learned. There's a whole bunch of people, probably most of you are smarter than me. And again, if you know something on the uh, speed sensor, that would be great. Because that's about the only thing that I can't figure out. But once I got through the setups and everything, it fired right up. Well, good morning. I, uh, it's the next day. It got, it got kind of late last night and I lost some of the footage. But after I got everything wired in or whatever, I went through the settings. And I took it for a quick ride. It was real quick, like down to the stop sign. And it's running like crap. So I think I want to dig into some spark plugs this morning and, and then maybe see what else is going on. And I think it's raining out. But uh, either way, let's, let's get back on it here. So just out of curiosity, because I had not checked this actually since we put the engine together, I thought I'd pull the spark plugs out and get a, you know, a look at them. And most of them, you know, look fine. But... Look what I found here. Yeah. Uh, that don't look right. So we're going to put a new set in with the iridium tips or whatever. Like a, uh, I had somebody comment on one of the videos to uh, get some good iridium tip plugs. So I got a set of those coming. We'll throw those in and see what happens here. Yeah, it's raining. But I don't really care. I want to get this i want to see if this uh spark plug problem was our problem i can't get the big meat hooks in here it's a good thing i'm what they call ambidextrous i'm not really but uh i wish i was there you go little fella i get them snugged up as soon as i locate my ratchet with my spark plug thingy on it located it you need them on this side too this one has the dang oil dipstick like right in the way okay that's all done let's fire it up again and see what we got okay That whole side is not firing. Something ain't right somewhere. That whole side is not firing. Could it be a bad ground? Nothing on that side is firing. Why? Why would that be? Well, my ground wire that grounds to the back of the cylinder head, that bolt was loose and that wire was just kind of dangling. So <laughs> I guess I missed it. I don't know. Anyway, I tightened it up. So we'll fire it up here and see if that fixes our problem. Oh, yeah, they're firing now. Oh, yeah. I got all eight again. Yay. Time for a test run. Yeah, yeah, everything's looking good. Let's see how she drives. I don't have no windshield wipers yet. We never got that far. find somewhere I can turn around and get on.
Oh, I can't believe that mess is gone. I gotta tell James. James! So there you have it. We have successfully made the transition from the junkyard PCM LCU whatever thing to the Holly Terminator X, which, like I said, I wanted to do that anyway because the long-term plan would be I'm hoping maybe we can do a cam lifters on this thing, maybe even add some boost. That would be super cool. The Terminator X gives me a lot of flexibility to do that, so I wanted to do that the whole time, and that didn't even solve our mess problem. It's um, amazing that this uh, was the problem the whole time, and I didn't even bother to look at them. This the simple things. Sometimes the simple things. I mean, I guess, I guess they escaped me because I put brand new plugs in when we redid the motor and everything, and I didn't, I didn't even think to look at them. And uh, shame on me. And for the viewer that put that in the comments, thanks. Uh, I feel stupid now. And I could, you know, I could have, I could have not told you about that. I could have made something up or whatever, made myself look like a genius. But the truth of the matter is, when you do this kind of stuff, um, you're going to miss stuff sometimes. It's, you know, you just got to keep digging. But I'm thrilled. Our, our miss problem is solved. If you've been following Winston for a while, you know this has been a real stick in my crawl. So this is awesome. We can finally move on uh, to other things. And you'll see that in uh, upcoming content real soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, all those things. Uh, we, you know, Our first goal is 10,000 subs. We're almost there. And if you have been watching and you are a subscriber and you've been doing the thumbs up thingy and comments and all that, thank you very much. Certainly appreciate that. Anyway, we're going to move on. I just got to figure out what the next thing is. So we'll see you real soon. In the meantime, get off the couch and go wrench on something. Blood, real blood, sweat, and tears. Huh? More tears than anything else.